Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about fishbowl inventory. What do you do when QuickBooks isn't enough? Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Also, check our newly designed website at www.nerdenterprises.com for information about our consulting and our training services. Hi, Seth David here, bringing to you another special screencast. We're talking about what do you do when QuickBooks isn't enough to handle your inventory? Where's your solution? What do you do? You have to have to get a whole new accounting program? No. Most likely what you're going to do at that point is go to an outside solution that integrates with QuickBooks seamlessly. And the good news is there is in fact a program out there that is the number one selling program which people use when the time comes to go beyond what QuickBooks can do to support your inventory management and tracking. And that program is pretty well known in the world of QuickBooks. Most people have heard of it. It's called Fishbowl Inventory. And if you're catching this before Monday, May 7, 2012, then you can join me live for an interview with John David of Fishbowl Inventory, where he's going to talk about the product. We're going to talk about generally managing and tracking your inventory. And he's also going to give you a bit of a demonstration of the product itself. So if you're curious about Fishbowl or if you're already using it and you'd like to learn more about what the product can do, this is a great opportunity for you not only to watch and listen, but also to ask questions. You'll be able to post questions during the live broadcast, which will happen both on Google Plus and on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash nerd enterprises. Of course, if you go to my main website at nerdenterprises.com, you have the link here, you have social links here, you have it on the left. Hard to miss. So join us. And if it's after that date, which again is Monday, May 7th, 2012 at 5 p.m. Pacific time, if it's after that time, not to worry, the recording will be posted for you to watch after the fact. Of course, at that point, you can't ask questions because it's no longer live. It's in the past. You can't really go back and take the questions you ask now and go back into the video and ask them later. So, sorry, but if I could do it, I would. So, let's talk about managing and tracking your inventory using Fishbowl. Here's their fishbowl page on inventory management. And if you'd like, you can take the free trial, right? You can try it for free right here. Just come over to their website. The link will be posted below where this video is, right? And I prefer to use that link because this way I get credit for sending you there. I'm going to provide an affiliate link so that if you try it out and you should decide to like it, I'll get credit for having sent you and fishbowl will send me a nice little thank you. Meanwhile, try for free, fill out the form, and then you'll be able to download Fishbowl. And that's what this video is really all about, is sort of unpacking Fishbowl. I want to show you what it'll look like from the very first step. So right before your eyes, I'm now going to install Fishbowl Inventory. I've already taken the time to download the executable file, the exe file. So we're going to, you know, this is what you're going to download when you do the free trial. Let's double click it, and we will run the installation of Fishbowl Inventory, and then we'll see what that looks like. So once you begin the installation process, you'll get this prompt, which just lets you know that you're about to install Fishbowl. In this case, it's uh, Inventory 2012.4, and there's also a QuickBooks integration notice. It's, this is very important. It only integrates with QuickBooks Pro, Premier, and Enterprise versions 2009 or later. So if you're using an older version of QuickBooks, then you must purchase a newer version of QuickBooks to integrate Fishbowl. And this is simply because the QuickBooks Software Developer Kit is Windows-based and it will not work on any other platform. So to integrate Fishbowl with QuickBooks, you must be running the Fishbowl server on Windows. So that's the other part that's important to note. And we'll click Next. And of course, I have to accept the agreement, which I'll read super fast, buddy. Okay, it's done. I read it. It's great. I agree. Next. And then I can do trial day with manufacturing. I can do trial 14 day without manufacturing. So let's do with manufacturing. This way I can do my whole fishbowl series and make sure that I can accommodate everyone. 
And now it's going to extract files and start installing. Installing. I am not going to uh, make you sit through this whole process with me. So I'm going to stop the recording and come back when I'm ready for the next step for you. Okay, once it's finished extracting the files and doing its thing, you'll get this message that says completing the Fishbowl Inventory Setup Wizard. Setup has finished installing Fishbowl Inventory on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the installed icons. Click Finish to exit Setup. Thank you for installing Fishbowl Inventory. See, aren't they nice? They even say thank you. We click Finish, and then I'm going to have to look over on my other monitor for the icons that they've installed to run Fishbowl. So I'm going to double click Fishbowl. Now mind you, I do not have QuickBooks running at this point. So I'm going to double click Fishbowl and I'm going to let Fishbowl walk me through the process. They will tell me when and if I need to have QuickBooks open. And of course I have prepared a sample company file for use with QuickBooks. So what you're going to see here is what it looks like if, you, um, if you're starting a brand new QuickBooks file and, and a brand new installation of Fishbowl. But even if you have an existing QuickBooks file, not to worry, I've been through the process, you will be able to uh, you know, integrate it, no problem. So now I just got this message that says I'm running an old version of Fishbowl, probably because I downloaded it a few weeks ago already. So I can click OK, and because for now I just want to you know, get the process started, then I can download the uh, newest version I imagine or since nothing's happening perhaps I do need to download the latest version right now So let me run fishbowl again oops it says it's already running so maybe I just need to be patient here it is Windows gives me this message of course I want to allow access and everything's slowing down a little bit because I'm recording my screen while I'm doing this so it's using a lot of resources so I'm going to allow access, and you can't see this, but on my other screen, I've got a little box up here that says 10th Anniversary Edition Fishbowl Inventory 2012. So I can't show you that, unfortunately. But here comes the actual program. Fishbowl Client. And I've got it up twice now, probably because I clicked on it twice. And then I've got sales point. All right, so let's cancel this. I'm going to cancel one of these instances so that I only really have one. So now I have sales point. I have this is what I want. So now it says, welcome to Fishbowl Inventory. You're currently connected to the example database. This is a good place to start when first learning how to use Fishbowl. However, when you're ready to start using Fishbowl for your own business, you should create a new database. Okay, so I'm going to click finish. And you can do the product tour on your own. I'm not going to bore you with that. You can do that without me. But let's have a look. Let's look at a sample database. You'll see that you've got this dashboard. It almost looks a little like a Microsoft Outlook. You know, where you've got the, you know, the toolbar here on the left. It, it's very similar looking interface. And it may seem overwhelming, especially if you're not accustomed to this kind of thing. But don't be overwhelmed. The idea is to go through this. First of all, when you purchase Fishbowl, they always include training. It's, it's included in the price that you pay when you sign up for Fishbowl. So there, you're going to have a Fishbowl expert come and train you to help you get this set up and to help you get things going and make sure you understand how to use it. So, of course, make sure that you take advantage of that. And so here's a dashboard, which is what I'm looking at now. I can look at reports by clicking here. Okay, and so and, and then it, it's broken down by category, and this makes it easy. There's just folders. So if I want to look at accounting reports, I open up accounting. I can look at an adjustment report. I can look at cost of goods sold by account summary, right? Default account mapping. So what I encourage you to do is I encourage anybody uh, to do with this sort of thing is just go in here and play for a bit, especially since they give you a sample database to play around with. Get used to the interface. Because once you're used to this interface, then you know the hardest part for that is going to be mapping everything to QuickBooks, which you'll, you know, in a future video, I'll walk you through the mapping process. But you'll just, you're, all you're going to do is go through a series of questions. You have to be familiar with your QuickBooks chart of accounts because you're going to need to tell Fishbowl where your cost of goods sold accounts are, where your inventory accounts are, all the things that they need to know so that they can link things up properly between Fishbowl and QuickBooks. They're basically two databases, and you have to help them the first time around or during the initial setup. You have to help them learn how to talk to one another. That's really what it is. 
this. You have two databases and they need to be able to have a conversation with one another. And that's what you're going to be able to do and that's what I'm going to walk you through in a future video. For now, the purpose of this video today is just to get you acquainted with it so that you're not overwhelmed. Don't be overwhelmed. It's very easy. Let's go to the adjustment report now. Let's see if I've got anything in there. Nothing there. Cost gets sold by account summary. Nothing there. Default account mapping. Nothing here because it's not actually mapped to any QuickBooks account. So, and as you can see, I've got preview, I've got details. So, you've got the report section here. That's the first thing. There's a calendar. We click on this. You can populate things on here, which is really nice. It helps you manage things. For example, let's say you're looking to take inventory, right? So, on my calendar uh, option, I can say new, right? Whatever module I'm looking at up here, and these tabs will show you what I'm looking at. When I'm looking at the calendar, this menu notice changes based on what I'm looking at. So if I go to calendar and I want to say new, I have a new event location. So a new event could be take inventory, right? And I could do a starting and ending date, especially if you have a lot of inventory in your warehouse, you might want to plan on several days to take inventory. And of course you can make it an all day event, add notes, and add that in. So very simple to use. You know, and of course here you can change your view. You can look at a month view, a week view, a five day view. And sometimes the five day view really is the most handy because it's not, it, it gives you enough uh, detail without overwhelming you. Whereas the month view, you don't really, you can't really see a whole lot. You get sort of summarized information. So when I'm working with something like this, I often like the five day view. On my Google calendar, they have a four day view option. It's meant to show you, you know, the better part of the work week. So. I like that. So this is the, the general stuff. Come down here into materials. These modules change. Okay, and as I click on these, it's adding these in. But notice as I open up new modules, it just adds in another tab across here. So I can quickly and easily get back to whatever things it is that I want to work with. Right, and if I want to close something, I can right click this and I can say close. Or I can say close everything else. Or I can say close everything. Right, that's what these are all about. So if I want to close the dashboard, I just say close, right? So this way, if I start getting overwhelmed because there's too many tabs open. But the point is now, I just forget about what's in here because if you try and do, remember, if you try and do everything at once, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to throw your hands up and say, forget it. Just get used to the navigation. Understand how this works. Here is your primary navigation right here at the bottom. You have general, you have material, sales, purchasing, manufacturing, accounting, and setup. Okay, and, and you can show fewer buttons or add buttons and so on. I can click here and drag this down to hide it so that there's more room up here. Or I can pull it back up. So every time I click on one of these menus, I get different choices up here. Every time I click something in here, it adds a tab over here so that I can easily navigate whatever it is I know I need to work on. Right? So I can go, here's my accounting. Right? And, and this is basically to do the configuration, to link the database up to QuickBooks. Again, something we'll review in a future, in a future video. But this hopefully should get you acquainted. It's, it's not so overwhelming. It doesn't have to be. You know, take your time and download the free trial version. Go do it right now. Download it. You get 14 days. And they're pretty nice. I've spoken with the people at Fishbowl. They're some of the nicest people I've had the pleasure of talking to and getting to know. So I have a feeling if you're sincerely interested in their product and you use up your 14-day trial and you really feel like you need some more time, Call them and ask them. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to you know, help you out with that and see what your needs are and, and guide you through and, and get you whatever you need in order to get going using the software. The last thing they want to do is sell you a piece of software that you can't use. So believe me, they're very friendly. They're very accommodating. Go to the free trial. I'm putting the link in the, in the description of this video. Wherever you see this video, look around. You'll find the link to go download the free trial and, and try it out. And of course, I'm always available for consulting and or training. So if you need help, call me, 866-945-8070 or send an email to me, seth at nerdenterprises.com. I'll be more than happy to guide you through whatever you need help with. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you on the web.